evening. Thank you for joining us for WVLT News at 10. I'm Casey Wheelis. Earlier today, the Knox County Medical Examiner identified the woman in the car as Tabitha Smith. Crews found Deputy Robert R.J. Leonard's body also in the water, not far from the car. District Attorney General Russell Johnson says Leonard arrested Smith after a disturbance call and was taking her to the jail when he took a wrong turn, left the road, and went into the river Wednesday night. There are still a lot of questions that need answers as this investigation continues, but tonight, People who knew Smith are mourning the loss of their friend. Our Sam Luther joins us. Sam, a tragic story that really came as a shock to those closest to her. Yeah, Casey, last night, Chief Deputy Brian Malone told me that they believe that Deputy Leonard simply got turned around, drove down that dead end road that led into the Hiawassee River. Tonight, the friends of Tabitha Smith want to make sure her story isn't forgotten about. She was a mother, a daughter, a friend, sister. To her friends, Tabitha Smith was Tabby, a woman who just had her 35th birthday only a few weeks ago. She was a happy person. She was outgoing. She, she loved life. The Meigs County Sheriff's Office says Deputy R.J. Leonard got turned around and accidentally drove into the Hiawassee River. In the back seat was Smith, who had just been detained after a disturbance call as the cruiser hit the water, trapped, handcuffed, with no way to get out. I could not imagine being trapped and knowing that my life was going to end. Friends heartbroken to learn about what happened as they reflect on the impact Smith had on them. She had a heart of gold, and despite any struggles and troubles that she had, she was just, she, she was a great person. Leaving behind a husband and an eight-year-old son and a six-year-old daughter, those closest to her hope she's known for more than just a tragedy. I hope they remember her by her name, Tabby Smith, and I hope she's remembered as more than the girl in the back seat. In the back seat of that car is where investigators found Smith. The friends you heard from right there tell me they hope and truly believe that Deputy Leonard tried to save her in those chaotic moments. But Casey, understandably, the uncertainty of what those final moments looked like really weighing on them tonight. No funeral arrangements for Smith or the deputy we mentioned before have been announced yet. It's just a tragic, tragic story out of Meigs County. Sam, thank you.